Hello, my name is Stacy Bidwell, and I'm a respiratory therapist with the Ohio Health Pulmonary Rehabilitation Program. In this presentation, we will be talking about how the lungs work. The lungs are a large, spongy organ in our chest that are responsible for taking in oxygen from the air we breathe and passing it into our bloodstream to be circulated by the heart to our other organs and tissues. The lungs are also responsible for removing a gas called carbon dioxide, which is a waste product produced by our bodies. The lungs are part of the respiratory system, which begins at the nose and mouth and eventually branches down into the smaller and smaller airways of the lungs, finally ending in tiny air sacs where the gas exchange previously described occurs. The pathways that carry the oxygen throughout our lungs are referred to as bronchi and bronchioles. You might hear us refer to them as airways. They have an important role because they allow the air we breathe to be directed to the small air sacs where oxygen and carbon dioxide can be exchanged. The air sacs where gas exchange occurs are called alveoli. These tiny air sacs are surrounded by blood vessels called capillaries, and this is where oxygen enters the bloodstream and carbon dioxide leaves the bloodstream, entering the lungs to be exhaled. Other important structures of the respiratory system are small hairs that line the respiratory tract called cilia. These hairs work with the fine mucus layer that lines the airways to trap and expel dust and debris before it can cause infection in the lungs. One other structure that's worth mentioning is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a large dome-shaped muscle below the lungs that has a major role in breathing. When damage to any of the vital structures of the respiratory system happens, the ability of the lungs to do their job can be difficult and the lungs can become diseased. Damage can occur from exposure to smoking, environmental hazards, and chronic infections, but some lung disease occurs from unknown causes. Prolonged damage to the lungs will continue to hamper the lungs' ability to function properly and patients may experience increased breathlessness, fatigue, wheezing, and other symptoms. This concludes the discussion on how the lungs work. For more questions, please be sure to contact your physician or pulmonary rehab team member. Remember, we're here to help.